Our starting lineups, of course, brought to you by Food Line. Brissett wins the tap. Howard runs it down. Bill Covington Jr. with Randy Steins and Tim Comer on the whistle as we go in prime time at Barclay tonight. And Howard with 10 to shoot for the Orange on their opening possession. Long two for battle. And Ty's battle is capable of scoring in the mid-range. Brissett. Foul on Dolezal, right in his wheelhouse, Corey. And if they get offense from Dolezal, that is a bonus for Syracuse. They're having a hard time finding the flash guy here, aren't they? Well, and they have, and Syracuse really has adjusted. That's a great challenge by Chukwu there to not foul and an even tougher finish. Yep, Shawnee Brown on the board. Shea Brissett trying to get by more. Now Howard with seven on the clock. Three ball. Frank Howard at 35%. Three-point shooter. Cusins has some very good ball movement early. Brissett recognizing that there's a double team there. And then Franklin Howard just using his size advantage to put pressure on Syracuse. Danny Manning not liking what he saw his first few offensive possessions. Saar the jumper on Chukwu. Olivier Saar from Toulouse. And, of course, Carolina will meet the winner of this one. And that's a big game. If Syracuse is able to get there, they actually had a good chance of beating North Carolina in yep. the game at the Carrier Dome against this zone. It helps to be able to have size on the interior, but another turnover. Woo! Battle leads to a battle hotline. Tyus Battle is one of the leaders in steals in the conference because they're able to fan out against that zone and that length at the top. Battle at 6'6", six, six. Franklin Howard at 6'5". Guards are tough. Orange is 6-for-6 six six from the floor. Louisville does not win that game. They can pretty much count themselves out. Dolezal had it rim out. Chukwu, the stick back. Assistant Case Award winner in 1995, Randolph Childers. Doral Moore put Matthew Moyer in the basket with him. And that's why Doral Moore is second nationally in field goal percentage. We beat this zone defense down the floor, or are we going to try to work around the zone? When you have your opportunities in transition, you've got to take care of them, especially when Syracuse is playing this well on the offensive end of the floor. Wilbekin, Donovan Mitchell. Back to Crawford, nice bounce pass and score. Crawford's first basket. Job done on the defensive end of the floor where the struggle has been for Wake, but they love to play fast. Battle of three. 11, make it 12 now for battle in the first half. There's Crawford flashing. Moves through traffic and scores. When Good you tough move. Yeah, when you can get Brian Crawford the ball inside that zone, he's shown now that he can be successful there. Interesting to watch Wake die, diagnose, and there's more. That early in the shot clock, you know, he's improved as a shooter this season, but he does most of his damage attacking and getting to the free throw line. There's Crawford, soft jumper in the lane for his third field goal. There's Childress. He plays with Crawford here. It's a unique dynamic they've got. Woods attacks from the wing and scores. And, but they need to have Childress in there with Crawford so that, and Wilbekin on the outside so that they can put Crawford inside their zone. And I think that, as a young player, is the next step to his growth as an offensive player. He needs to turn down those shots and get to the basket. First three of the night for Wake Forest, guys. Now to a four-point lead. Howard slips through and gets the bounce. Big bucket there by Frank Howard at a time where Syracuse has started to struggle on the offensive end of the floor. Trying to find a seam. Howard guns. Here's Crawford, Wake on the run, ahead through traffic, Childress the layup. See the defensive energy has picked up for the Demon Deacons because of it. Dolezal knocks OKK and gets the basket. Sunday OKK tried to draw the charge. Howard tries to sneak in, there's the pass, Chukwu. But he put it on the deck, now Dolezal cleans it up with a dunk. And they're going to add one behind it. Difference between having Thompson on the inside of that paint compared to having Brian Crawford in that paint. I'm expecting Danny Manning to go back to that adjustment. But Franklin Howard has found his way in the paint and is able to finish through the contact. Highest battle, number one nationally. He never comes off the court. Sean B. Brown, a three. The freshman from Orlando with seven now. Here the night for the Deacons. Cuts it back to a nine-point game. Ahead of three minutes elapsed. Battle tries to answer and does. 
Second three of the night for Battle. He's got 15. Thompson the rebound. Back for Crawford. The partisan orange crowd here at Barclays wanted a foul, didn't get it. And Terrence Thompson banks his eighth three of the year. Battle. Howard. Back for Dolezal. Merrick Dolezal's played well enough. Howard getting inside the paint, doing a great job finding his teammates. And now you put the basketball in Dolezal's hands once again, who's able to finish. Baseline, Brissett up and under, deflected out of there. Okay, K. Who only played two minutes and two games against the Orange and Crawford. A big three and a look to the Deacon bench. Howard. 13 to shoot. Triple by Franklin Howard. For that, by giving them an opportunity to throw the basketball up beyond the rim and allow him to finish. But right now, it's been Dolezal who's been the finisher at the ACC tournament. And to keep their NCAA tournament hopes alive. Chukwu. He's in double figures. I like to talk about the 93 ACC tournament. <laughs> Jason, you will attest to that. When I mentioned 93, you saw him smile, and that's the one time you will ever see Randolph Childress get quiet. Double-figure game against an ACC team this year. And it's a career high for Merrick Dolezal. Woods skips for Crawford. And the three ball. And Brian Crawford had had a good offensive game in not, not a good, but a great recruiting class for Danny Manning. Jalen Hoard, who is the McDonald's All-American, the number 19 rated player in the country. So the lead been cut down to 12 here, just ahead of four minutes. The runner by Childress. Eight nothing run now by the Deacons. For, for Donovan Mitchell, back for Crawford. 15 to shoot, here's Woods. Ball movement does get Crawford a three. And West, that's one of those possessions where the ball moves so well. Blocked after the first two were blocked, and now the third is blocked. And yet Wake's got it. Childress. Fights through, scoops, scores, and one. Howard. 13 on the shot clock. Lob, Chukwu. Howard juggled it. Here's Dolezal. Has Chukwu with it. Lob, big fella. Just an outstanding shooting night by the Tar Heels. Miss from three, Moore can't control, Childress follows. And a Wake Forest timeout with 50.7 to go. Gone to the back end of their rosters here at the ACC tournament. Anthony Billis, the rebound, and Troy Reich, the Deacon senior from San Francisco with his third field goal of the year. Reich, a fourth year walk on. And Syracuse has their first ever win at the ACC tournament. And for the first time all season, all five starters in double figures for the Orange. They'll be North Carolina tomorrow night.